Hey guys, what's going on? Hope everybody's doing okay. Um, as you see here, we have a box with the Mopar name on it. Uh, what this is, is if you've seen some of my past videos, my, um, in the back, I'll show you in the back of my uh, cargo area in my Jeep, I was missing something. Um, come to find out, it was a, uh, they call this a rear low deck lid and anyway I just had my Jeep serviced I needed an inspection and an oil change and I went to the uh, parts count and they looked it up and apparently I'm missing this low deck lid and I'm going to show you in a second what I'm missing I'm going to go over to the Jeep I'm going to show you and this was the one piece I was missing if my system had a subwoofer this piece would be cut out with like Luan or like flaker board with the subwoofer in the middle. I don't have that. I'll show you what I have uh, I'll show you what I have Back last year when I bought my Jeep, I was uh, missing a lot of things out of this cargo area First I was missing this plastic tray and This was like 44 45 bucks with the eBay. This is OEM then I was missing the toolkit to take the top off so I bought that and then so I looked on up and it said there's supposed to be this rug that says Jeep and it's like rubber diamond plate I did a video on that too I believe um, this was believe it or, believe it or not this was the only one I could find brand new on the internet I think I got this from Quadratech I'm not 100% sure if I remember where I got it from I think I stated in my other video, if I made a video, I can't remember, I have to look. Anyway, this was $125 just for this mat. I almost fell over. I couldn't even find this in a junkyard. And um, I actually did find one, I believe it was on eBay. It was really cruddy and disgusting, and the guy, I think, won like 100 bucks for it, and there's no way I was paying for that. So anyway, as you can tell, there's the jack. There's a piece that sits over this lid, this area, because you can see... This just sinks in. So what... This is the piece. It's called a low deck lid. Rear de low deck lid. And it's... It's... Oh, there's the part number. That's the part number. The dealer wanted... Like 360 bucks, and I, I almost fell over. And I looked online, and eBay wanted like 270, which I still thought was a lot. You'll see it. I still think it's a lot of money for this. I found this on line Mopar OEM parts, something like that. It was 202, but the guy banged me on a shipping 48 dollars. And I live in New York on Long Island, obviously, and this came from Ohio. And he still banged me $48 on the shipping. So he still made, you know, his money on it. And from UPS, it dropped off my house. There's a hole in here. And this was actually ripped open. Delivered to my house. And if I would have seen that, I would have been hesitant about accepting it. But I opened the box. And there's actually two pieces. There's a deck lid. And there's like a little spring screw. I guess you lock down the lid. That was in there, thank God. And that little spring screw didn't break, but did all this damage. It's insane. All this damage was from that little deck screw. So I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna show you what we got. All right, you gotta bear with me. It's a little uh, hard one hand, but there's a plastic bag in there. This is the rear deck lid, and I actually put that screw in a plastic bag, which is down there. Hold on a second. All right, I'm gonna show you what we got here. This. This is the spring. It's not bent, but this thing like ripped through that box. Just over here, 
open the Ziploc bag. Apparently when they, uh, this truck was, was a fleet vehicle out of Michigan, and apparently, I don't know, the, between, I don't think my deal who had it, whoever else had it, I think when they delivered it, they mugged this whole back of parts. So, this is the uh, lid. It's got plastic. And I guess the lock's supposed to go in here, and I'm gonna take this out. And let's see how this fits. If you can see, I don't know if you can see in the video, there's two actually cutouts here. For these two little ears. So this actually, I see how this goes. This slides in. And this is, I guess, I think that's it. Can't go anymore. That's it. And there's a, um, that's okay. Now I know what that is. Okay, they gave it to me anyway. This. That extra spring they gave it to me. It's right here. This it came with the uh, it came with that tray I bought. Okay. Wow. That's amazing. Okay. That's what you do. Okay. What you do is the spring. You pull up on it. You turn it. And this is this is little um, little indentation, and it basically locks it. Wow. Yeah, it's like a trunk lock, and it basically locks it. Oh, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> so I actually have an extra one of these. I, if I'm like too far or close to the camera, I apologize. But well, that's what uh. That's what this is, the extra piece. Okay, it's not bad. I'll save it for a rainy day. Yeah. See if we can get one. Like I said, it goes in these two indentations right here. This is the lock. Pull that up. And you open your trunk. And that's basically what it is. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, there's that echo uh two-stroke oil I was looking for. Let's just make sure it's not leaking. Eh, we'll do that later. <laughs> Alright. Um Okay. Back. So like I said, that sits in here. It's pretty cool. Box, I'm so happy with it. Put my actually let's put the rug back. Oh well, actually let's put the seat back. Put the seat back. And that's what it is. And you lift up this, and you can open it. You can access your trunk. It's not just supposed to see me, but that's okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then, And I believe this indentation is where this rug is supposed to sit. And I'm gonna guess right. Wow, look at that. 
That's exactly what I was missing for this year. Wow. Let me show you that. See? And it covers it and it makes it all nice. And if one day I'm feeling different, I can flip it over. And it sits like this. You can put the rubber mat, but we'll keep it nice for Jeep. Keep it nice for Jeep. Nice. So. Okay, nice. Perfect. Now the real, uh, I'll say test, but this should close. And I believe what this is, this indentation is low part. I believe the tailgate, this is gonna sit under here. A little bit weird, but that's okay. All right. All right, so. I'm gonna put that on glass. Yep. Nice. Nice. Awesome. I'm very happy. I kind of have, especially like, like I said, this is like, I just bought this a year ago into 2018 and I saw everything was missing. Kind of like my OCD kicked in. But I'm very happy I had found the piece that was missing. So, I'm very happy. Do I think this piece was worth like like 250 I paid for it, even 360 from the deal. No, that's a lot of money. That's way too much. I'm very surprised, but then again, it's a Jeep. There's a big uh, market for Jeeps, and these things go for a lot of money. And, and that's what it is, because I guess it's a Jeep. So, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, like if, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If uh, you like, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribing. Please subscribe. Excuse me, I appreciate it. Um, I got a couple more things coming up. A couple of tool reviews. Um, I got a lot of parts for that lunchbox. Uh, to me, lunchbox. I'm gonna be like, um, not restore. I'm gonna redo the fun box. I got a lot of parts that came in for that. We're gonna work on that. Like I said, I got a, the nicer weather's coming. I got a lot of good stuff coming up. So, again, thank you for watching. Hope everybody's well. And have a good day. And I'll talk to you soon. Later.